welcome Midwest Fishing Adventures. We're, um, for this episode, we're going to concentrate on small stream fishing, or what we call creeks here in the Midwest. Um, so we're going to go out and fish for a variety of fish. You can catch carp, northern sometimes out of creeks, um, smallmouth, largemouth, and rock bass. And we're going to show you the three patterns that we primarily use here with Midwest Fishing Adventures to catch smallmouth, largemouth, um, and we catch the occasional carp. Uh, we'll learn how to read the river. One thing is we're, we're running a little bit late. We should be pretty close to the water right now. The top water bite will be happening right about at when the sun just now uh, is, just starts to rise. Uh, the top water bite is really, really productive. But we'll see if we'll get a little bit of luck. summer, the number one food for, for smallmouth is crayfish. It's the best food source. It's, uh, it provides them a lot of protein. Um, there he is. So, um, I can see why they're up here. I just can't believe how many are in this pool. It's just pretty amazing. Um, so, The small creek has many characteristics that every fly fisher should take note of. Knowledge of the feeding behaviors of your targeted species and how they relate to these different aspects will make you a more successful angler. Riffles are a shallow, fast-moving water that flow over a rocky bottom. They are an abundant food supplier to the fish that congregate in the pools below them. In lower light conditions, bigger fish will move in to the edge of the riffles to feed. Pools are deeper, slower moving sections of water that follow riffles or runs. Because they are deeper, they are an attractive location for fish to hold up in during hot sunny days. Target the head of the pool focusing on any main structures such as boulders. Boulders provide the necessary cover for fish to ambush prey as well as a spot for them to rest and conserve energy. 